Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Megan's Fearless Adventures. Um, we are going to film a little, not cooking, but cooking tutorial today. And this is going to be in honor of Joe Fix It For You. Because he didn't have a home is where the health is video. So I'm going to make this for him. And that's why I'm wearing this bad boy. Right here. Okay, Piggy. This one's for you, okay? I got me one. I got me one of them, okay? So, the recipe that we are cooking, we're not actually cooking anything. You don't have to use that thing behind me, okay? Big Bertha gets to take a break. We're gonna give her her much needed time off and we are gonna make a no cook overnight oat. Oh, all you have to do is put all these ingredients together and put it in the fridge for at least, I would say eight to 10 hours and then take it out the next day and you can eat it but it's a high protein overnight oat. So I've got oats. You can really do any kind, but I like the Bob's Red Mill. Um, we have chia seeds. We have some, we're gonna dabble with some hemp hearts today. We get a little healthier, add a little bit more protein. We got some agave. I have yogurt. I have heavy cream. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, the list goes on and on. I have strawberries. I have zero sugar oat milk. You can use any kind. With the heavy cream, I may not even need it. So we're gonna play that one by ear. And we have some um, whey protein. You can leave this out. This is optional. Um, the yogurt and the hemp hearts already add enough protein for a normal person's diet. Um, but I add probably about a half a scoop of this. I did a full scoop on one of the rounds I made when I was meal prepping and it was a little proteiny, So we're gonna go with just half a scoop of this, but again, you can leave this out. This is optional. Um, the only reason I will maybe have to add the oat milk is in order to help mix this a little better. So we're gonna get started and I'm gonna bring you down. So you are down at the level that we're gonna be mixing everything at and I've already chopped up my strawberries. These were just three medium sized strawberries. Um, you can do it to your liking. I may not use all of these. Um, I would suggest a little uh, bigger size of a container for these if you're going to meal prep these. This is a pretty heaping breakfast. Um, I usually eat this on the way to the gym or right after, depending on how I'm feeling. This morning, I um, only ate about half of it and I was pretty full. So um, I'm going to start with just half a scoop of oats. You, or sorry, half a cup of oats. Um, I usually do a full cup and honestly, I might. So we're just gonna up that. You can cut this recipe in half, dice it however you want. Um, the containers, I made them in yesterday, were a little on the smaller side. So I should have just done half a cup, but we're gonna do a full cup today. So, um, and yesterday, uh, sorry, not yesterday. When I made these, time is a construct, right? Um, when I made these the other day, um, I, like I said, made a lot of mistakes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pour my protein in over the oats. This is so good to give you lots of energy, make you feel full for longer. Um, I just, I can't even tell you. When I first started um, going to the gym, I was feeling very faint a lot. I would not be eating nearly enough as I needed to be for how much I was exercising. I just did two pinches of the chia seeds. I'd say literally less than a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, but this really helped me a lot whenever I first started going to the gym um, and feeling full and feeling like I had a lot of energy and really helping my body be able to get through, power through that workout. So I am going to add a tablespoon of um, this yogurt. You can do any yogurt of your choosing. Again, you can make this however you want. Choose to spin it, choose to not. This is just my healthy, high protein overnight oats. So you do the yogurt. I'm gonna add in pretty much all of the dry ingredients um, and give that a good mix. Yesterday's, or the other day's mistake, sorry, was that I did not mix all of that up before doing that. So um, it really did not settle well. So we're gonna go ahead and mix these ingredients in. I did hemp hearts. I did protein, I did oats, I did my um, tablespoon of yogurt, and I'm just gonna mix these well together. I always have overflow, meaning spillage everywhere. 
Okay. And it's not, it's really just to get that powder like incorporated in the oats. And so you don't have big clumps, but you're obviously, this is all dry ingredients with a little bit of yogurt. So it is gonna be a little clumpy just to start, but I want those oats just coated in that protein powder. So next what I'm gonna do is just add literally just a little drizzle of agave. Agave is a great sweetener um, to add. Uh, 60 calories this particular one and it has about 16 grams of sugar for one tablespoon which is a heaping uh, serving and I just did a tiny bit but this is a great clean sweetener so I'm just gonna mix that and mash that in now I am gonna go ahead and like I said I use oat milk for mine and heavy cream the cream the heavy cream is just gonna add a little extra creaminess to it um because oat milk is pretty thin um I know all of you are going to come for me with the oat milk I'm sorry you guys I love it I think it's so good um and oats with oat milk just seem like double dipping but it actually is delicious now you want to make sure that those oats because they're going to soak overnight are submerged in that liquid so but I don't want, I personally do not like super liquidy oats. Um, I like my oats to be on the drier side once they've soaked overnight. Um, so give me one second, I'm gonna do a quick hand wash. And we're back. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that heavy cream to just submerge it. But like I said, I like mine to be a little drier. Some people like they're super liquidy. Um, I do not, I want those oats to soak up all that liquid and kind of to even just be able to chew on it in the morning. I don't want it to be like soupy. I don't even like my oatmeal to be liquidy. I'm super weird with textures. So that drives me insane in the memory. All right, so we're gonna add in some of our strawberries now. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna use all those, but I would do about two to three strawberries, um, depending on how sweet you want it. Again, we've added agave, we've had vanilla yogurt. We have a lot of sweet aspects. So this is by no means gonna be a savory um, overnight oat, but I am hoping that by adding the hemp hearts that will kind of help. Maybe I will use all the strawberries. See, no rules kitchen here, okay? You come to this kitchen to have fun. You come to this kitchen to do all the things that you wouldn't normally do and to make good food. All right, once I've gotten that well mixed, we wanna just submerge those strawberries in. And I know it looks like a soupy mess right now, you have to trust the process when it comes to overnight oats, okay? They're gonna look a little milky, a little yogurty, and my favorite specialty to add to this, cinnamon. I will literally put cinnamon on anything. I think it's delicious. Um, that's it. I need no more explanation than that, okay? It's delicious, period. So we are gonna just, I mean, I literally would add cinnamon to cereal if I could. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my favorite cereal, for anyone who's wondering. Um, I love cinnamon in my coffee. I literally love cinnamon in everything. So, we got that nice and mixed up. And all we're going to do is pop the lid on and then throw this bad boy in the fridge. And I already have one made. Um, so, again, I'm just meal prepping a couple for myself for the next couple days for when I go to the gym. Because when I go earlier, I like to have my breakfast in the car in the seat next to me. Um, and I like to eat it on the way. That is the best way. Take a little pre-workout, eat my overnight oats, or eat my eggs, depending on what I've made that day. Um, but this is going to be a delicious batch. I'm going to show you one of the ones that I already have made. All right, so I have mine from a few days ago that I made. I would recommend probably making these in like a two to three day batch um, batch, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I wouldn't make them any further than two to three days in advance just because they do go bad kind of quickly. Um, and you don't want these to be soaking for that long. That's a long time. But do you see how it's kind of soaked up all of that in there? And it looks like oatmeal. It is so delicious. Would you like a bite? No, I'll take it. That's all right. I'll have the bite for you. Um, it's very good good amount of protein in here for you. I would estimate between the yogurt, the full scoop that I accidentally put in these, 
um, and I didn't put hemp hearts in it. So I would say between the two things, there's roughly about 45 grams of protein in these overnight oats, which is really good. Gonna power you through a great workout, could power you through a long day in the yard or on the farm or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and it's a great sweet treat if you want to not feel guilty and have something sweet to look forward to at the end of the day as well. So thank you guys for joining me um, for this quick recipe that I put together of strawberry overnight oats and I hope that you enjoy.